Greetings and welcome to Pinball Help. Mike here. Today I'm just going to go over just, you know, something that happened to me. This is kind of an unfortunately frustrating but very common thing that happens. You get a pinball machine. I've done videos on this before. This particular game, uh, Kings of Steel, which I really like. It's a very fun game to play. And um, I've had it here in my kitchen and been playing on it. So I, the other day I turned it on. It booted up and I forget I turned it off and turned it back on again for some reason and BAM it wouldn't come back up I'll show you so. lights all up displays and then nothing you know sometimes you could have a game working beautifully and then boop, it just does this so let's take a quick look at it let's, pull, let's open this back box <clears throat> and see what the situation is. Okay, so as has probably been covered in previous videos, I took this MPU board and I removed the battery and I put a memory cap on it. What we're going to do is we're going to pay close attention to there's a little LED in the lower right corner It's going to blink. So let's turn the game off and see what happens. Okay, turn it on, flash, a quick flash when it turns on and then one light and then that's it. So looking that up, that one flash indicates that the memory at U7, the 6810 chip, is not passing the test. So. I tried reseeding everything, took the board off, uh, checked everything, and it's still not coming up. Now this chip is socketed. I don't have one right now, so I'm going to have to get one. Um, but I've also, one of the common things that you hear with these games is that Bally used these sockets that were not the best made, and they tend to kind of cause problems over time. So before I, I do any board work, I'm first going to swap this chip out and see if that fixes it and if it doesn't then I'm probably gonna have to um, pull that whole socket out replace the socket and then there'll just be a whole methodical process um, you know this is one of those situations where you ask yourself well how much is your time worth because you can get a whole new brand new repro board for about hundred seventy five dollars um, in this case I am gonna fix it because I have the means and I want to actually demonstrate how you can fix it. So stay tuned for more on that. 